Let's take a look at the components and operation of PCC's Quick Switch to Chamber Regenerative Thermal Oxidizer. The system achieves 97% thermal energy recovery by storing heat in ceramic media. The white material is ceramic fiber insulation, which maintains a safe external vessel temperature despite internal temperatures that may exceed 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The oxidation chamber connects the two heat recovery chambers and houses the burner. The heart of the RTO is the QS indexing valve. This specialized valve reverses flow direction in the oxidizer to recover energy from the ceramic media. PCC's QS indexing valve has an actuation time of only half a second and uses an air seal. The design eliminates hard stops and mechanical seals, greatly improving equipment reliability and service life. The waste gas is supplied to the unit by a process blower. On the exhaust side, the clean emissions are released to the atmosphere by the stack. As size allows, nearly all components of the RTO system can be skid mounted, shop assembled, wired, and tested. This allows for quick and easy equipment installation. Here the combustion air blower, PLC control panel, gas drain, and pressure manifolds are all mounted to the skid. Now let's take a look at the operation of the RTO. To begin preheating, the process damper is closed and the makeup air damper is opened. The process blower purges the vessel and begins to preheat the media using ambient airflow for the makeup air damper. The beds are preheated with the burner. Here the RTO flow is in a clockwise configuration. The right bed begins to accumulate energy and heat up as the hot air moves downward through the media. The air cools as it releases its energy to the bed. Once the temperature saturates the right bed, the valve switches. The system flow is now in a counterclockwise configuration. The inlet air is being heated from the right bed. The right bed cools as the air moves upward through it. The hot exhaust air is being cooled in the left bed. The left bed is heated and recovers energy as the air moves downward. Once the system has equilibrated and all safety interlocks are met, the process blocking damper is permitted to open. The system is now in normal operating mode. The waste gas is preheated by the left bed. The contaminants, shown in yellow, are destroyed in the oxidation chamber. Heat from the products of combustion is recovered in the right bed. The QS valve switches flow every two to five minutes in a continuous preheat and heat recovery cycle. This is how RTO systems achieve high destruction performance while greatly reducing fuel usage. In fact, some applications require zero fuel. In this case, the system is maintained solely by the heat release of the gas contaminants. Valve seal air, which still contains unoxidized contaminants, is drawn through the valve and recycled to the inlet of the oxidizer to be treated. This concludes the basic operation of PCC's regenerative thermal oxidizer. The system can achieve high destruction performance of organic emissions from a wide variety of production processes with very low fuel consumption. In addition to the base RTO, two add-on systems to be discussed next extend the RTO's capabilities and performance. These are the hot gas bypass and puff capture systems. The hot gas bypass system consists of a high temperature, refractory line duct, and flow control damper. Hot gas bypass capabilities are required when the process waste may contain variable or high organic concentrations. The hot gas bypass damper allows a fraction of the hot flow to bypass the recovery chamber. This decreases the overall energy recovery of the system and allows for safe and stable operation at times when high heat release would otherwise overheat the system. The second add-on RDO option is a puff capture system. This system increases the destruction performance of the RTO from 98% to greater than 99%. The system consists of a second QS valve, puff capture chamber, and additional duct work. The puff capture system collects puffs of untreated emissions that occur when the QS valve transitions. Before the main RTO valve switches, the puff capture valve directs the exhaust to the residence chamber. Note the presence of untreated yellow particles directly from the inlet and from the plenum of the new exhaust chamber, which was the inlet chamber during the previous cycle. 
contents of the puff capture chamber are recycled to the oxidizer inlet to be treated over the next valve cycle. VCC's RTO offers guaranteed pollution control performance and reduced operating costs for a wide range of industries. Contact a PCC engineer to discuss your next pollution control project.